This video tutorial features Yuri Castillo, Koopa Star Educator in one of his Valentine's designs, with Divinity Acrylic and Artfinity colored powders, very berry and pink petal, that can easily be done in the salon. Always begin your enhancement service with the proper nail preparation steps that will assure your nails will adhere properly. With a Koopa cuticle pusher, gently push back the cuticles and clean the nail plate. With the Divinity Shaper file, gently remove the shine on the natural nail plate. It is not necessary to scratch and damage the nail, so be very gentle. With a clean, dry nylon nail brush, remove any debris and cleanse the nail with a lint-free pad and cleanser. The next step is to dehydrate and prime the nails with Divinity Peace Nail Prep and Love Primer. Nail Prep is a dehydrator and the first component of a two-step system that will help the Divinity Acrylic adhere properly. Apply one coat to the nails and allow it to dry. The second step is to apply one ample coat of Divinity Love Non-Acid Primer. Be sure to wipe the brush each time you replace it back into the bottles so you will not contaminate the product. Take an infinite nail form and remove the end of the form making it salon length. Remove the form from the backing and pop the dot out from the center of the form and place it on the underside of the free edge for more support. Roll the shape and pinch the tabs at the end of the form together, then tear the perforation at the top. Apply the form. Make sure you have a tight fit under the free edge, which will provide a secure and straight extension. Press the tabs together over the finger. Yuri will use Divinity Clear and Pink Acrylic and Artfinity Very Berry and Pink Petal Colored Powders to create his Valentine's design along with the Divinity No. 10 Sculpting Brush and the Divinity Traditional Low Odor Liquid Monomer. Yuri starts his application by applying a medium wet ball of Divinity Clear Powder to the entire nail with the No. 10 Sculpting Brush. He is building a base of clear so that the colored powders do not stain the natural nail. If the product is too wet, place the back of the brush on the paper table towel to release excess liquid prior to applying it to the nail. Place the powder on the free edge and brush it back onto the natural nail. Press it into place as it's drying to create a clear base and then allow it to dry. Next, using the Very Berry colored powder, apply a medium ball near the cuticle area and press it into place. Again, if it is too wet, place the back of the brush on the table towel to remove any excess liquid for more control. While it is still wet, start to pull the color down over the entire nail. Apply a second ball of Very Berry to the tip of the nail and brush it back so it blends perfectly with the first application. Shape with your brush until the nail is dry. His next application is going to be a medium sized ball of Divinity Pink acrylic that he places at the cuticle and methodically brushes it over the entire nail to overlay the very berry. This gives the design dimension and allows you to file and shape the top layer never having to file into the very berry color. Once the nail is almost set, take your Pro Pusher C-Curve Squeezer and set the C-Curve until it is completely dry. Remove the form and begin to shape the parameter of the nail with the Divinity Shaper file which is 100 and 180 grit. First the right side, then the left side, and holding the file at an angle, shape the underside of the tip. Yuri then inserts a medium carbide barrel bit into the Passport electric file and begins to shape the surface of the nail at a medium speed. Gently file the surface in a back and forth motion, beveling and contouring the sides and top of the nail. Replace the barrel bit with the safety bit. The Koopa Safety Bit is a medium grit, short rounded topped carbide cone that safely allows you to get close to the natural cuticle area without cutting so you can perfectly bevel the cuticle area smooth to the natural nail. Use a slow to medium RPM and very light pressure. 
Now that Yuri is done shaping the nail, he uses the 180 grit buffer side of the shaper file to refine the surface even more by buffing the entire surface and finishing the sides. Remove the dust and cleanse the nail with nail cleanser. Yuri will now use Very Berry and Pink Petal Artfinity acrylic colors and the 3D sculpting brush to create his Valentine's design. Start by using the Koopa C-Curve squeezers to place a small gold ring in the center of the nail. Using the Artfinity liquid monomer, place a very small dry ball of pink petal in the center of the ring. As it dries, work it smooth with the tip of your brush, keeping it inside the ring. Next, place a tiny, very dry ball of Very Berry in the center of the ring. As it dries, use the very tip of the brush to create a heart. Once the heart is dry, apply a small amount of Gelfinity UV Foria Top Gel inside the ring only to create a bubble effect. Cure for one minute. UV Foria cures hard to the touch with no tacky layer to remove. Once the UV Foria is cured, apply Divinity Nail Glue to each side of the bubble. Apply your nail art pieces with the C-curve squeezers and press into place until dry. Once the design is complete, apply UV Foria to the nails around the nail art pieces and do not cover the entire nail. Be sure to apply it thinly. This will give the design a finished look while securing the edges of the nail art pieces and then cure for one minute. To finish your service, apply Harmony Cuticle Oil to the nails and rub in. We hope you enjoyed this video tutorial by Koopa Star Educator Yuri Castillo, Master Nail Technician. The Koopa name is synonymous with high quality electric nail filing equipment, Divinity Acrylic Enhancement Products, Artfinity and Glitter Effects, Gelfinity, a full line of traditional gels, plus Spafinity for your spa pedicure services. For more information on Koopa products, visit the website at www.koopainc.com. Oh.